Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday of the 32nd week. We begin our prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Back in the seminary, they taught us that the kingdom of God is already here, but it's not yet here. That was very confusing for me until probably I became a priest and I saw signs of the kingdom of God in this world. I saw a nurses taking care of sick and dying people. I saw families hovered around people. I saw parents taking care of children, all those kinds of things. So you do see the kingdom of God in so many places, but it's not fully here until we reach heaven. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us for the sin we have committed. Bring each one of us home to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant Almighty God that we may always ponder spiritual things. We may carry out both in word and in deed that which is pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. In wisdom is the spirit, intelligent, holy, unique, manifold, subtle, agile, clear, unstained, certain, not painful, loving the good, keen, unhampered, beneficent, kindly, firm, secure, tranquil, all power, all seeing, and pervading all spirits, though they be intelligent, pure, and very subtle. For wisdom is mobile beyond all motion, and she penetrates and pervades all things by reason of her purity. For she is an aura of the might of God, and a pure effusion of the glory of the Almighty. Therefore, not that is sullied enters into her. For she is refulgent of eternal light, the spotless mirror of the power of God, the image of his goodness. And she who is one can do all things and renews everything while her serf perduring. And passing it to holy souls from age to age, she produces friends of God and prophets. For there is not God loves, but it not one who dwells with wisdom, for she is fairer than the sun and surpasses every constellation of the stars. Compared to light, she takes precedent, for that indeed night supplants, but wickedness prevails not over wisdom. Indeed, she reaches from end to end mightily and governs all things well. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. The responsorial psalm, your word is forever, O Lord. Your, your word, word is forever, forever O Lord. Lord. Your word, O Lord, endures forever. It is firm as the heavens. Your, your word, word is, is forever, forever, O Lord. Lord. Through all generations, your truth endures. You have established the earth, and it stands firm. Your, your word, word is, is forever, forever, O Lord. According to your ordinances, they still stand firm. All things serve you. Your, your word, word is, is forever, forever, O Lord. The revelation of your words sheds light, giving understanding to the simple. Your, your word, word is, is forever, forever, O Lord. Lord. Let your countenance shine upon your servant, and teach me your statutes. Your, your word is forever, is forever, O Lord. Let my soul live to praise you, and may your ordinances help me. Your, your word, word is, is forever, forever, O Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, Jesus said in reply, the coming of the kingdom of God cannot be observed, and no one will announce, look, here it is, or there it is. For behold, the kingdom of God is among you. Then he said to his disciples, the days will come when you will long to see one of those days of the Son of Man, but you will not see it. There will be those who will say to you, look, there he is, or look, here he is. Do not go off, do not run in pursuit, for just as lightning flashes and lights up the sky from one side to the other, so the Son of Man will be in his day, but he must suffer greatly and be rejected by this generation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. 
Good morning, everyone. You know, as Monsignor said in the opening, the kingdom of God, Jesus says it in the gospel today, is here among us. Reminded me of a short little story, and I'd like to share it with you. Of, this was a farm some time ago. A little granddaughter and a grandfather were out. They were getting water out of a well. They got the bucket of water out, and the granddaughter said to the grandfather, where does God live? The grandfather said to her, the well wasn't very deep, and it was a bright, sunny day. He said to her, look down into the well. And she did. He said, what do you see? She said, I see myself reflected in the water. He said, yes, that's where God lives. So I'd like to say and have everyone reflect this morning about that God dwells in each and every one of us. The kingdom of God is here, but we can't see it. We can't touch it. It's within us. What do we have to do? Follow the teachings of Jesus because he taught us forgiveness and mercy and love and all those things. And there's one verse in the first letter of St. John that says, God is love. So the kingdom of God is about love. It really is that simple. It really is that profound, that important to show our love. How do we do that? By helping others, by charitable works, by loving each other, by forgiving other people for their trespasses against us. You know, we have all these things, we follow Jesus, we need to take that to heart. The kingdom of God is here. God dwells within each and every one of us, from the lowest person to the highest person, each and every one of us, from people you may not think that God dwells in them. Yes, he does. God bless my brothers and sisters. For our petitions, for our church, may it always be a community of love and mercy and forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all those who are lost or struggling in life, May they be helped by others and be transformed by Almighty God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those suffering from any sicknesses, whether physical or mental, may Almighty God comfort and heal them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our families, may they be free from anxiety and may they be generous in showing kindness to others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, may they come to share in the resurrection and peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask these blessings through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we eat this bread to give you which earth is given and human hands have made it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we eat this wine to give you food of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May, May the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice in our hands for the, the praise, praise and glory of his name. For our, our good, good and good of God's holy church. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to you and your majesty may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, when your children were scattered by sin through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gather them again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity may be made one by the temple of the Holy Spirit. And so we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is you comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, death O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop. Remember Irene Perini and Florence Angelella Combo, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed all those called to the supper of the Lamb. O Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of this salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. May God's blessing truly guide us in all that we do, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you.